Welcome to another episode of Data Analysis with Stata. Today we are going to look at formatting dates specifically. Uh, when you look at, uh, this is the data that we are going to use, and when you look at it through the browse, you can see that we have a numeric and a categorical, but these are strings since they are in red. There is some missing data, so we can recap a bit on how to convert this into categorical variable for example uh, the shortcut is when you browse you go to this data editor the edit mode remember when you enter edit mode each mistake you make it is not reversible so you click yes we are already in edit mode since this is highlighted then right click on the variable that you want to to encode go to data encode so if uh, we are it is if it is a categorical variable we encode into a label the numeric labels those are the label the values that we give to each category if it was uh, a continuous variable we could just convert but we are going to encode into another numeric we are encoding this into and uh, this was a data of uh, covid-19 patients who died or who were discharged at a certain hospital. So NRM it means the nunnery breather mask, those who had the nunnery breather mask at 48 hours. So we, can, uh, we can't have a new variable with the same name. So we are going to copy this and maybe use small letters for this. NRM. So when you go to the end of the data set, you will see that the variable is formed. So when you do code book for this variable, we shall see that we have missing 92 missing variables. But uh, this is not uh, the issue that I want to, to look at, but uh, let me uh, go through it a uh, little bit. So, when uh, you, you look at that, we have a yes here and a y. So, a y meant a yes. So, if you want to combine these two, you still use the record command. So, you record this. And you say 1 is equal to 2. You are recording 1 into 2. Or 2 into 1. But we want them to go into a yes, so we shall say 1 is equal to 2. So when you code book again, we see that they, are all, they have all gone into a yes. So that's a bit of uh, recording into another variable. But uh, let's browse again. Uh, but while dealing with dates, we are not going to do that. We are not going to just uh, encode or we use what we call formatting dates. So during formatting dates, we format a date into another variable, for example. So we are going to generate a variable called date of death. Is equal to uh, is equal to date, you put date, include the date of death. So here we are going to put the format of date, which is uh, date, month, and year. So how do I know this? You first uh, close this, uh, maybe you first browse and look at your date, the format of your date. So it is in uh, a day, month, and year. So that's the format that we have. So that's the format that you have to include at the end of the, the format that you want. So when you press, if you, when you press enter, it will create this variable, date of death, which is formatted. If we browse the two, you will see that this is formatted and this is still red. But uh, Stata starts to calculate its date from uh, 1960. Is it 1960 when it was its birth? 
So these numerics represent uh, a date starting from 1960. That's how it calculates its dates. So if you want to bring them back into our normal dates, we format. So we format date and you say percentage ED. So when you browse again, it has formatted it to 5th July 2021. 10th July 2021. These dots mean empty. So not everyone that died, that's why some of the date of death is empty. So let's also let's also format the uh, date of admission. So we are going to generate a new variable called date of admission is equal to date comma the month year. So format. I think we know what format percentage TD means. We are formatting our dates. So when you browse date of admission and this you know, created one, you see they are the same. So if you want to to generate a follow-up time, the time which uh, uh, every participant was followed, maybe to discharge, to death, to, to readmission. So we create a time of follow-up, which is, a, we generate a variable called time of follow-up. So there is a variable, first of all, there is a variable called vital status. You can look at it. Uh, one means the person died and uh, zero means the person is still alive or well, did not die at the end of the follow-up period. So we are going to generate time of follow-up is equal to so date of death minus date of admission uh, but if the person died because we are dealing with death, if vital status is equal to one. So you see that I have put uh, two equal signs here. Let's see if we are selecting from a variable. So when we browse time of follow up, we see we have 12, 14, those are days of follow-up actually. So people died after seven days, after two days, after three days. I wanted to introduce something about formatting this, uh, this, uh, these numbers. I will show you. So let's generate one day, I mean one time. Maybe we generate date of discharge is equal to date. Oh, date of discharge is equal to date. Then the date we want to format. Then we put the format uh, uh, format date month year. So these are the numbers that uh, state calculates. So I'm not going to, I already explained. If you want to go to put back into date format, you just put format percentage TD. But this is not what I want. I want to demonstrate something uh, that uh, formatting the small places. I don't know if I will demonstrate that later. I think I'll demonstrate that later. So. Let's stick to dates. We are going to format 
date of discharge and send it td so if you want to still fill our time of follow-up for those who are discharged we shall say replace follow-up time uh, is equal to is equal to date of discharge minus date of admission if the person did not die is equal to zero so if you browse our follow-up time it has included those who are discharged but i will show you that they are mistakes there's always a mistake uh, in collecting data especially if you collect using excel so this is a mistake there can't be a negative that means the date of discharge there was a mistake so data cleaning that's where data cleaning comes in uh, that you have to clean and uh, change these dates look at your original data and change these dates so i think that's how we we can format our dates if there is any question you can leave a question below i will answer it